In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the scheduling assistant in Outlook Calendar. So when you're in the calendar and you create a new event, you can input the title and then you can add your attendees. Now what's nice is when you add in a person, it's going to, you put in the date and the time, it is automatically going to show you on the right hand panel who is available and who is not by the red and the green. The red of course means that they're not available and the green shows that they are. So in this case, this time does not work for the both of us. So I'm going to go up to the scheduling assistant and it's going to open up a larger panel. I am going to be able to see both of our schedules. On the other person's end, it does not give any personal information. It just simply shows that they're busy, tentative, or free. And I can drag this red bar across the calendar. And when it turns green is when all individuals are available to meet. And this works if you have one person, three people, five people, however many people you can add to the calendar or to the event, uh, it will compare all of those schedules. So of course this only works if everybody in your organization uses the calendar, but if they do, this is extremely helpful and makes it a lot quicker in creating meetings and finding time to get together with colleagues. When you found the time that you want, you hit done. It will update the main screen. And here is where you can make sure that the response options are still on to request a response. In this way, the individual still is able to reply yes if they're attending or no that they are not to decline the event. And then you would have to go back and reschedule if you need to. The other handy thing about the online calendar is now you can turn on a Teams meeting. And when this is on, it will automatically add the Teams meeting link in the description of the meeting. This has been extremely helpful in our current learning environment, never knowing if we're in person or hybrid or remote. Now I have an online meeting link, no matter the situation, so I don't have to go back later if an in-person meeting now has to be remote. There's a link there everybody can go to without any extra steps. Hit send out and you're done.